Hello everyone and welcome to Gameplay. This is our Tell of Kingdoms hardcore series. Um, last My last hardcore series ended a, a little prematurely. This one uh, is going to be with the Tell of Kingdoms mod. I found out uh, that I can use the Tell of Kingdoms mod and do a hardcore playthrough and even though I will probably die, I thought it would be a good idea to, to give it a go. Uh, see how far I can make it. Maybe I can even make it further than last time. Uh, I went over at the end of my last series a little bit about Tele Kingdom, so if you haven't checked that out yet, uh, please do so and, and it'll get you caught up on the, the Tele of Kingdoms mod that I'm using. Um, let me get a couple of flowers here for some money and then we'll go ahead and get started. Um, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the, the little guild here. I'm going to start my contract and then I'm going to get me some bread from the farmer and I'm going to start making my uh, making my little camp off off and away from here hello red mushroom I do not see you or often alright I do not want to sell that so this is the guild hall I'm gonna go in here and uh, Okay, good. I was afraid that people hadn't spawned yet, but there are NPCs running around, guards and vendors and such. So let's just go on in here, talk to the guild master, start our contract, and then we will start our path to kingship. Um, as for my skin, I am Naked Steve, and so we need to get my guy clothed. So let's go ahead and do that. You are now one of us, my friend. Kill the monsters and you will soon be worthy of your title. I don't know I did that with a little, little weird accent, but whatever. Okay, so now we've started and basically our mission for now is to kill monsters, save civilians. And that's exactly what I plan on doing. Before I can do that though, I need to get geared up. Um, it seems like a lot of people suggest, um, please give me bread quest still isn't working seems like a, a lot of people suggest is that dude on fire what are you doing dude get out of there a lot of people suggest uh, basically getting as much flour as possible to buy your um, to buy your equipment uh, I'm gonna have to go leather starting out cuz uh, I don't have the funds for anything but so let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy a stone sword, even though I can make one really easily. Uh, and then I'm just going to get a wooden... Oh, wow. Is that really... I'm going to go make my own. So, anyway. Let's clothe up old Steve here. Get our stuff in order. Already got some seeds, which is good. Um... Okay, uh, one thing I didn't show before um, is that there is a banker as well. Uh, so if you come over to this guy, you can actually deposit some of your hard-earned golds. That way if you die, you don't lose it all. Which I think is great because I'm going to probably die a lot. Oh wait, this is hardcore mode. Oh, if I die, it's all gone anyway, so maybe I won't even bother. Okay, hello Mr. Cow. Don't mind me, just stealing all these flowers. Okay. Got a nice bit of flowers. Let's go ahead and take this wood. We'll go ahead and get ourselves a little workbench. Get started. I actually really like how it cut this out. It, it has to cut a flat area for it to build the castle, and, and I don't know why, I just really enjoy the way it looks. <laughs> Get in wood. Whoa, there's a little bit of slowdown, that was weird. Mm. 
I'm actually in a really good situation with where this is at right now. I have enough time to get some wood, uh, and I can use that gold to go buy food, which means that I don't have to worry about starving to death, so... I really, so far, think this mod might help my hardcore playthrough. Um, definitely going to run into some issues when it comes to fighting, though, because... It seems like when I was playing on standard survival that the enemies hit much harder than they used to. Um, so we're likely going to have to be very careful. And if you watched the last video, you know that I'm not all that careful sometimes. Um, so we'll just see. I wanted to, um, I guess, talk about comic books. This is the first time that, I guess, a new set of comics have came out um, from recording, and, well, uh, how about instead of talking about the current issues that are coming out, um, I never really went into the some of the books that I really, really enjoy reading right now. Um... I know that in the previous series I talked at length about Batman, I talked about Star Wars, the new Star Wars comic, uh, the ongoing, it's, you know, both of those are still really good, um, and I think what I want to talk about right now is the series that I like, so I'm, I am a Marvel guy through and through, uh, but that's only because Marvel was the first the first real comic books I ever read were Marvel comic books. Um, whenever I was little, one year for Christmas, my parents got me a blind bag. It had five random comics in it, and they were all from Marvel. Um, I don't even know if they do that anymore. I don't think I've seen anything like that. Uh, but it was... It was really cool because there was an X-Men issue in it. There was a Spider-Man. It was actually Spider-Man uh, 2099. Uh, so it was back in the 90s. Um, let's get a lay of the land real quick. Desert. I want to hang out there. Ooh, hello, Apple. Um, but yeah, there was uh, an Avengers and... and can't remember all of all what all five of them were. I remember specifically the the X Men comic. It was uh, the final issue in the. I hear you, Spider. Where are you at? It was the final issue in the Blood Ties comic. Um, well, comic event, I guess you would say. It was kind of an Avengers X Men crossover where this character Exodus had stolen a child of or kidnapped, stolen, whatever, uh, kidnapped the child of Quicksilver, who was an X-Men and an Avenger, um, and then, what was the girl's name? Mm, I can't remember. It was his, his, his baby's mama, whatever her name is, I can't remember. It was like, whatever. Anyway, the reason why I remember it so vividly uh, at least the the store the comic itself is that uh, the issue of the book the, f the last issue had this metallic cover like this the the entire cover was in this really odd silver um, silver metallic cover and it, whenever I was a kid that was like the coolest thing ever uh, so that's definitely why that book has stuck out to me uh, the the reason why I mem remember the Avengers book so well is that that particular storyline was dealing with um, it was Iron Man, War Machine, uh, Thor, Thunderstrike, Captain America, and U.S. Agent. They were all stuck uh, on this other planet or something like that. And the reason why it stuck out so much to me it was it was basically the main care like those main the, the Trinity of the Avengers books, and then they're like replacements. So War Machine is basically a, a another Iron Man. Uh, Captain America and U.S. Agent are more or less the same character. Like the the characters themselves are different, but they're they both use shields. The power sets are very very similar. Same thing with Thor and Thunderstrike. So that really stuck out to me as well. 
um, because I had never, I actually didn't know who those, you know, the three other characters, I mean, I knew Thor and, and Iron Man and Cap were, but I didn't know these other guys, and I thought that was so cool that there was more people that had similar power sets but were completely different. Uh, I'm going to start a base here, since it's close to that world. Sun's going down. I want all of these mushrooms. If I could find some brown mushrooms, I would be, I would be set. You know what? Let me set one back down and hope that it seeds more. And uh, so yeah, uh, comics that I'm reading right now, I, uh, I've already talked about Batman. I've already talked about, you know, some of that stuff need some stone because it's getting dark and I can't see very well uh, I'm gonna have to let's make a bench and put it down right here and I think we're just gonna have to dig in and get some stone so let's see One, 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 one. Okay. All right. And you know what? Let's go ahead and get some more and do an axe. Should I do an axe? You know what? Never mind. Uh, okay. Let's pick this back up. Don't want to leave it laying around. And got some wood over top. I'm um, or some ground over top. I think I'm gonna go in over here where it's obviously not going to crush sand on me. Let me get this out of the way and get some extra seed. And stone already. That is exactly what I wanted. So I need eight. Okay, six, seven, eight. So let's get this furnace, furnace made, furnace. Listen to my odd lisp. So yeah, anyway, the the comics that I read right now, as I I do read a ton of Marvel books, um, but I still read a ton of DC books as well. Um, I read. All the Green Lantern books, almost all of the Batman books, um, except for a few. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's try to get eight charcoal out of that. Actually, let's do this. This is better. Boom. Look at me using my brain. Got a little lot here now. Uh, have seven seeds. Let's go ahead and get some more stone. Make us a little hoe. Plant us some stuff and uh, get some wheat growing. Uh, so yeah, in the, on the DC side, I, I read all the Green Lantern books. I read all of the Batman books except for a few. Like I don't read Batwoman, not because I have any issues with her being a woman or her character being none of that stuff it's I don't find the story to be interesting uh, so I don't read it the the art is a f really fantastic you know J the J.H. Williams is the guy who does it and he is whew, he's insanely talented um, but art alone isn't going to keep me reading a book no matter how much I love it um I don't read Teen Titans because the story has been bad and the characters have been man and all that. Uh, let's. Okay. But I guess Teen Titans is more of a. It's not so much Batman. It it is the only place right now you can really get a lot of. Um, Tim Drake, who was the third Robin, it's really the only place that you can get any more of him. 
Let's dump these wooden items in. Let's see if we can get any more charcoal out of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we do one, 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 one. Okay. Do. Oh no, I did it. Oh no. I made wooden weapons. Why did you let me do that? One, one, two, two, two. There we go. Why is that? Oh, I'm not doing three. What's wrong with me? Anyway, let's get some more out of this, unfortunately. And then we'll use the rest of this. We'll just, we don't need that much charcoal. I just need a couple of torches. Uh, while this is cooking up, I'm going to eat this apple. And I want to fight someone. I want to get some gold. And I want to be a big brave dog. And see how strong these guys are on hardcore mode. Um, well, hello, creeper. You just stand right there. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so on the Marvel side, I read pretty much every single X Men book I can find. I read most of the Avengers books. I read Spider Man. I read, uh, and when I say Avengers books, I mean Dark Avengers, Avengers Arena, Avengers New Avengers, um, Young Avengers. And Secret Avengers is on the cusp of being dropped, but it's still there in my list. Um, I really like the new Hulk book. Like the a lot of the Marvel books are, are, have been going through this line-wide thing called Marvel Now, where they're restarting a bunch of books and and starting them over at one, and um, basically. All what this has done is just kind of revitalized the books. Uh, they're, you know, they're just much more interesting. It seems, and I don't know if it's just because the writers are, you know, really pumped or what. But give me your gold. Thank you. Am I really already? Those apples just don't last, do they? But, uh, yeah, some of my favorite books are actually have nothing to do with the whole Marvel Now relaunch. There, it's um, the Daredevil book has been so good since Mark Wade took over. Um, the Punisher book was awesome. I'm kind of sad to see it ending. Well, I'm sad to see Greg Rucka ending his run on it because, uh, man, he really, he really nailed what Punisher is all about. Um, let me think. What is some other stuff? Let's go ahead and move this stuff in. Our gives ourselves a little hidey hole here. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Um, the Hawkeye book is beyond good. Um, I thought it was going to be terrible. I had very low aspirations uh, or expectations because I'm not creating it, so it's not an aspiration. Well. Anyway, um, yeah, it's been insanely good, and I love the fact that it's just these one-off stories, um, so you can pretty much pick it up at any point and know all you need to know is there's two Hawkeyes, um, there's the regular Hawkeye, Clint Barton, he shoots a bow, he used to wear a purple outfit, well, he so still sort of kind of does, and then there was the young Avengers Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, and she is also in this, um, so it's stories involving those two characters, and good lord, is it good. I wholeheartedly recommend it to every single person you could ever know. Uh, it is just very good storytelling. It, comic book aside, it's, it, it just makes me happy. Uh, another book that I really enjoy is the Gambit book. I've been a good fan of Gambit since the 90s. No, well, I'll take that. Um, it's 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 not as good as some of the other books, um, mostly because 
Gambit's a tough sell, you know. He's he's not. I don't know. There's something about him that is very '90s. I mean, he's this guy who throws playing cards and has an accent. Uh, that something about that isn't so insanely interesting now, but I really enjoy the character and the storyline that they have him going through right now as kind of an anti-hero type storyline where he used to be a con man, and so this is him doing cons again. Uh, not so much cons as, um, like, stealing things, uh, which is still, that's, that's fine by me. Uh... On the less uh, on the non big two, I really don't read that many comics that aren't part of the big two. I read Ninja Turtles, uh, the new GI Joe, Star Wars, uh, stuff like that. Established IPs that I've just really enjoyed for a long time. There are books that I trade wait for. Uh, if you don't know what trade waiting is, that just means that I don't buy them in single issues. I'll wait for them to be released as graphic novels. Uh, and those books are like Peter Panzer Faust, uh, American Vampire. Um, gosh, I feel like I'm saying um a lot. But anyway, the... I guess one of the the newer books that I've been reading that I really really enjoyed was it was called did I say Peter Panzer Faust already? Because Peter Panzer Faust is that. Um, there's also Saga by Brian K. Vaughn, which is very good. Um, there are other stuff like Manhattan Projects and, and, a, and a couple of things um, like some of the Valiant stuff. Uh, just it's good. It's interesting, but I haven't been keeping up with that stuff all that often. Oh, I know what I was going to say. The Adventure Time comic, the Marceline comic, the Bravest Warriors, all those Pendleton Ward creations. Those comics are all very funny, uh, very good. I've also been reading the Penny Arcade comic for Lookouts. Um, that story and that comic, it's not actually done by the Penny Arcade guys, but they, I guess they kind of oversee it and everything. Uh, and it's their world they created, some of their storyline stuff. But man, that comic is very, very good. The cartooning on it is much better than something that you would expect to see coming from an IP like that well let me correct it let me let me rephrase that it's much better than I thought it was going to be simply because I'm used to the webcomic format and longer form narratives are a little different um, but since it's not actually the Penny Arcade guys it's some other dude uh, doing it it's I'm telling you it's it's worth checking out for sure so it looks like we're at 23 minutes now. I've only got 200 and some gold. I'm getting hungry. I'm going to have to go get me some more bread back at the village and get me some more food. Uh, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do um, getting a little farm set up. I um, want to find some more. Keep those, put those in. Um... But yeah, I will start looking for more monsters to fight and uh, everything else like that. Um, so just uh, let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and please share uh, if you enjoy it. Uh, please share with your friends and, and let them check it out and see if they like it. Uh, we are still very new and could use all of the support that we can. Uh, so until next time, this was Chris for Gameplay and uh, hope you have a great day. Bye.